Mark will reach the meeting venue by car. Mark will reach the meeting venue in a car. I chop the vegetables by knife. I chop the vegetables with knife. Do you at times wonder whether to use prepositions by or in or by or with? If yes, stay tuned to clear the doubts related to the prepositions once and for all. Hello friends, my name is Heman Singh Rana and you're watching in live in English, making the language entertaining, lively and functional. We live in a very lively world where every moment some action, event or activity is taking place. Making it happen is some agent or instrument and acting as a bridge between any activity or event and any agent or instrument are prepositions of agency or instrumentality by, with, through and at. Whenever some action or even takes place, we want to tell the manner or method in which it happens or takes place. To help us in such situations are prepositions of manner or method by, with, like and in. So let's get started to have a better understanding of these prepositions. Prepositions of agency or instrumentality by, with, through and at connects an action or event to an agent or instrument responsible for its happening. These prepositions are placed after a verb and before a noun to show who or what makes something happen. By and with are the most commonly used prepositions of agency or instrumentality. One thing we need to remember is by is used to show an action by a person and with for machines, devices and instruments. Let's see some examples to gain more clarity on this. Martha is reading books written by great authors. This meal has been cooked by my mother. A meeting has been organized by Mark. In all three sentences, preposition by is connecting verbs write, cook and organize to nouns, authors, mother and mark respectively. Now let's see some examples of preposition with. I chop the vegetables with knife. Kindly fill the cup with coffee. Workers dug up the road with a rock drill. We use prepositions by and with to tell the agent of action. In case of persons, we use preposition by and for machines, devices and instruments, preposition with. Now let us see some examples of prepositions through and at to show means of doing something or agent through which something is done. The deal was closed through negotiations. We got to know about the meeting through Mark. We can remain fit through regular exercise. People were robbed at gunpoint. The goods were sold at auction. They suffered defeat at the hands of a weaker team. By is a very useful preposition in our daily communication. It helps us answer three questions. First, it tells us how something is done. For example, I will pay you by credit card or I will pay you by check. We need to get in touch with him by phone or we need to get in touch with him by email. I will send you books by post or I'll send you books by courier. One thing to remember is we never say buy a credit card, buy a post or buy a check. It's always buy plus noun without any article. 
The second question that by helps us answer is how something happens, whether by chance, by mistake, or by accident. I met an old friend by chance. I missed the class by mistake. I broke the glass by accident. In all three sentences, things happened unintentionally. However, if there's some purpose or intention involved, the expression to be used is on purpose. For example, I met an old friend on purpose. I missed the class on purpose. I broke the glass on purpose. The third question that preposition by answers is how somebody travels, whether by car, by bus, by train, by plane or by ship, and how somebody arrives, whether by road, by air or by sea. Most guests are coming by train, some by plane. Mark prefers to travel by road. However, Martha likes to travel by sea. In all sentences, the pattern followed is by plus noun without an article. In case we want to talk about a specific bus, train, plane, etc. or we want to use an article or pronoun, preposition in is used instead of by. Let's see some examples. We will go together in my car. They will reach here in a taxi. For bikes and modes of public transport, prefer preposition on, as in My friends are on a London bound plane. They are traveling on a train. He is coming on his bike. Prepositions by and with express means. With talks about instrument, tool or object used to carry out an action. It is followed by a noun, as in Thieves broke the door down with a hammer. Stir the curry with a wooden spoon. By, on the other hand, is abstract and refers to means in general rather than to a specific thing. Let's see some sentences. Most of us pay our bills by credit card or most of us pay our bills by check. The rooms are kept illuminated by electricity. Trees have been knocked down by strong winds. We came by car, by taxi, by train, by ship or by plane. In this sentence, we are talking about means of transport in general. We can also use preposition by with means of communication. For example, I spoke to Andy by phone. I sent the information by post or by fax. Prepositions not only help us tell the agent or instrument behind some action or happening, they also help us tell the manner in which something is done or the method to do something. Now we will discuss prepositions of manner or method, by, with and like. The pattern by plus gerund or verb plus ing tells us the method to do something or perform an action. By plus noun and with plus noun tell us the manner in which something is done. Now let's see some examples to understand this better. Mark reached home before dusk by driving very fast. They met the target by working round the clock. Make the soup by boiling the water for at least 10 minutes. In all three sentences, we are telling the method with which something is done. Now let's see some examples of manner. They played with great determination and enthusiasm. Steve accepted the job offer with pleasure. Mark carries himself with dignity and integrity. 
he succeeded by dint of sheer hard work. Martha knows all answers by heart. The traffic is moving inch by inch. He works like a thorough professional. Mark speaks like his father. In all sentences, we are telling the manner in which something was done or is done. You simply remember, we are trying to answer the question how something or somebody performed. I hope now you will be able to use prepositions of agency, instrumentality, method or manner easily and correctly. If you still have any doubts, please do get in touch with me. In the next lesson, we'll study about prepositions of inference, motive, source or origin. I'll be back with you soon. Till then, keep learning and keep improving. Goodbye.